y'all asked for it, here it is. A more detailed video on on the Overwatch 2 Funko figures. Friggin' ye. Now, I'm gonna start off with the positives. For this, so for the positives, I really like the head sculpt. It's got a nice shiny meta metallic silver. The neon green really pops out the way it should. I like the hood here. And I really like all the accessories we get, like this switchable head with the hood. This this hand holding shurikens. Although I wish we could have gotten like a throwing thrown shuriken effect like we did for the Hasbro Ultimate Overwatch figures and this little open hand. And of course we also have the weapons, the short blade and the long blade. This is katana. Oh, and here's the sheath for it as well. One minor gripe is that it doesn't come with any white kanji writing as it has in the game. You go ahead and look at it, it's right there. And then, he, then, we, then we get 360 arm rotation, both sides. Arms move up and down, like that. The head can move 360. Moves up that much, that's a little disappointing. Arm... Legs bend much that way. Has ankle pivot. And, but, no. No double jointed arms either, though. And, of course, you know, 360 movement on the hands. And now... Let's move on to the negatives, shall we? Now, I just want to say... I like this figure, but it's also kind of crappy. So yeah, no double jointed knees or elbows, and the sheaths fall off really easily when you put them in. Like they're like like they're just kind of loose. All you gotta do is shake it around a bit, a little bit. Okay, well it's not falling out right now, but trust me, if you have this, you know what I mean. It's just very loose fitting, fitting, and when you try to pose it, it falls off. Speaking of posing, whenever you try to pose this thing in more dynamic movements, the ball joint's probably gonna come off. Also, being that this this has very stagnant movement, it makes for horrible posability. Also, see this right here? When I was switching out the hand, for some reason it got really loose. That shouldn't happen with a figure so, very that soon. And so now when I try to hold this in my hand, in his hand, look at that. What is that? That is not how you hold a sword. Yep. Also, another thing I've pre I pretty much I should mention, the Tracer figure. Whenever you switch her hands, the white paint chips off. So that kind of sucks. I'm not going to show that right now because I'm kind of lazy. And also, yeah, back to when you try to pose it, this, wait, did I already say this? Well, I'm going to say it again. This pops off. And it's happened to me a few times. And I'm not going to purposely pop it off on camera, because I don't want to get the joints any looser. But honestly, guys, this shouldn't be a problem. So, Funko, get your shit together. Because these are kind of shitty, like dog water shitty. And look, if you like Overwatch 2, and if you and if you like Funko and if you like their products and if you want to have these figures, then all the power to you. Go get them. Have them in your collection because they look cool up there. But just don't expect much out of them besides decent accessories and paint apps because possibility wise, they they're not cool. They're just not. Oh, and another thing. You can't even get the arm over here to help you pose it. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can have it hold it. Ha have him holding it in this hand. But that's not where he holds his sword. You know? That's not where he holds his sword. He holds his sword right here. Because the, the sheath's in this direction. So talk about some inaccurate 
Pot some inaccurate hand stuff right there. <sighs> Just Funko do better. And I wish I can make this video longer, but I don't have I have nothing else to say but negative things. And believe me, you could tell last time I was trying to be positive in my last video with those two figures. I really was, but if but like when someone asked me to make this video, I I had to come be clean and honest with you guys. They're not that great. They're great if you want Overwatch 2 figures. But, like, everything else, it's kind of meh. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to listen to me rant about these figures. And hopefully Funko improves all these complaints in the future. Because this, quite frankly, in today's modern world, where today's modern world, well, I'm making this sound like a bigger deal than it is. But what I'm trying to say is in today's world, where Hasbro's making, like, giant... Galactus figures or SH Figure Arts is like making quality stuff. I don't know. It just feels like Funko. You shouldn't be making stuff like this. This shouldn't exist. I mean, this is like the height of a 3.75 inch uh, Star Wars Vintage Collection Black Series figure. And even they have better posability than this. Come on. It's like, come on. Peace out.